Hello and good morning. It's Priscilla Bateau in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery's backyard. The light is fading. It's actually kind of late in the day for me. And I have this almost painting. It looks like I even rain would it, but it's definitely an almost painting. And I have Princeton Catalyst Art Tools, and I've been using them to swipe with, which is just pulling paint over paint, basically. And I intend on doing some more of it. I'm going to put my glasses back on. That's a good thing. I might use beads. That's, that's always a possibility. I've got to kind of decide which side is up, and um, that's a little dark up there, and this has some nice chain pulls down in it, so I'm going to try and start from the bottom and just outline some areas that I like and go all the way up, because I can. I don't know how far I want to go yet, but I definitely need some stuff happening that isn't what's going on already. And I just redid a painting and I liked how it turned out. And it was just a painting over another painting. And there's quite a few of those now. After doing hundreds of paintings, I have, you know, probably three or four immediate and uh, quite a few waiting in the wings that I don't even remember from my first year of doing dirty pours, etc. sort of thing. I may not need much of anything. I'm thinking maybe either the chain or the beads are a good idea. I'd have to snip those beads if I was going to do that. And maybe I will because I have scissors handy. So I don't need the beads as much as I need. I don't need the necklace as much as I need the beads. So I'm going to just keep putting colors down that I like right where I started. I hope I can keep some of that dark purple. I may throw a little black or some some of my Prussian blue that I also put decor pouring medium in, which helps create cells. I think some of that's coming right up, actually. And I think I have a clog in my tip. They might be a little more evenly spaced than I want them to be. And I might want more paint at the bottom, so I might be better off to start at the top. I think I have to start and find out what I want to do first. But you know what? That being said, I still want to put some of my... some neon folk art multi-surface paint in there. It's just basically turning out to be a stripe at this point, but... Um, must be time to mix up some more paint. Now, I have been adding white next to any of the neon colors, hoping to help maintain the integrity of the color, and it's kind of working more often than not. I have a whole lot of greens standing by, and I kind of like to use them, but I think they'd be better as a background green, and I'm not sure what I want to do, but I'm not minding the stripes. I also have all kinds of other things, including skewers. But I think what I'm going to do to start with is just play with my beads. It's a because I can moment. Let me pick those up before they get any weirder. I kind of like the not beaded area next to the, the beaded area, but it makes me think I want some of that green I didn't put in yet. And everywhere is probably where I want that. <laughs> I'm going to have to play it by ear. It's not as hot as it was earlier, and it was hot earlier. Wow. I didn't think I was going to be wearing my frozen thing around my neck again this season, but um, here I am. I was out of the studio trying to get artwork, have the hardware and the labels and all that other happy stuff put on there. Had to be done and starting doing more and more editing on the book. I'm going back and editing the videos, and I'm just really stupid busy with all kinds of stuff, including trying to run this contest, which you want to enter if you want to win one of the three paintings I'm offering. Yeah, that doesn't look right up there, does it? I like the purple, the neon purple. Hopefully I can keep some of that.
you know, I, it's not bothering me. I kind of wish I'd put a little more blue in there, but I think it's working to a degree in a way I had anticipated somewhat. <laughs> if you can anticipate that. Let's just lay that over there and then bring it back. So no, I'm not minding that, and uh, I even like that, and I have some paint left on my So maybe some more low lights here and there. Kind of like to bring them up a little higher. Might have to turn my canvas around. I really do want to practice finding ways to save paintings that I didn't hate, but wasn't in love with. I'm afraid I do need some more white near the purple, which is a shame because it's going to be different. Sometime I'm going to learn to leave the tops right off of those bottles there. Right off. And I'm working in an odd direction. I'm working in a vertical instead of my usual. Kind of muck that up a little. I like the blue just as much as I like the purple. It's just a little slow moving to get out right now. But it does have deco or pouring medium in it, like I said, and that makes cells. Not that this is the time for cells, but I guess we'll find out if that's going to be a good thing or not. And at some point in time, I usually like to wipe my beads off. Oh, well, that's not going to matter much, I gotta say. I mean, I did like the painting behind, and I could have enhanced it, but I already have a photograph of it. There, that is making me happy. I think we just need to go in from the other side and use lighter colors, which would be, where are you? There we go. Let's not knock anything more over than we have to. Yeah. Just go up and down. I'm going to use a little bit of my, yes, my sunny yellow, which has actually got some unicorn spit orange in it as my experiment. We'll see how that works. Maybe because there's a layer of painting already on there. And yes, I didn't clean my beads off, but I often like the drama of the residual of what's been there. So that's my plan. I think these are just a little bit longer than I want because I keep dragging the end that I'm not keeping good track of in. I'm kind of glad this is done because you can't really drag beads over the side of anything very easily. So it's not bad for a rerun. Do I love it? I'm almost there. I was walking the dogs recently and I found some, uh, some wildflowers that were long and purple and it just made me want to do more wildflower garden. And this is about as abstract a wildflower garden as you're going to ever get, but uh, it still evokes that for me. I like idea of that and that. Just a little more green on one side and a little more purple on the other. And that's pretty cool. I need something over here. I can see that. Yes, I can. Just stuck my finger in the paint. Bound to happen sooner or later, you know? All right, let's drag this this way and then back again. Make it cohesive. 
the only thing I really want to do at that point is make sure I have enough of my favorite color where I want it. And I'm getting there. Just gonna I think I'm gonna just call this recycled canvas. Gotta be careful not to make mud. And a lot of that neon purple will disappear and become burgundy colored, which will be interesting for sure. I think the last thing that I want to do is make some marks. See, I'm sort of missing stuff down here, but maybe I don't want to be all covered. Or maybe I want something there. I had some nice, yeah. Did. There it is. Is that it? No. <laughs> of course not. Had. That has floor troll in it. Okay then. We're going to throw some of this minty green in there. It's because we can moment. I don't think that's going to hurt anything. I'm having fun. That's what's happening. I'm just having fun. I have too many beads in my hand. that minty green is a color shift by folk art and it will add a little zhuzh to everything I want to make sure you all know that if you have a bucket and you keep your paint water in it that you ought to put it into a bucket of sand and as opposed to down the pipes in your house because it will coat the pipes in your house whether you believe me or not you're going to find out. <laughs> All right, well, what that means is that we had a lot of good background usage, and we've got a lot of flame patterns that I'm not minding, and I don't see that I need so much else in there, although it's always nice to turn things around. It would be nice to tap a few things over the end. I kind of feel like something right here, where that weird orange is, and otherwise, I'm pretty happy with that. That's kind of spectacular in some ways. Maybe I should have pulled some things down. Maybe if I leave well enough alone, I'll be happier right now. Can I do that? I don't know. <laughs> Not usually very good at it. But most of the time it works out for me, so I'm not really complaining. I have a lot of things I like about this, so um, getting ready. <laughs> I'm getting ready to tell you that I'm almost done, and we're going to take a torch to that to release any air bubbles in there. Not that I imagine there can be many air bubbles left once I've dragged beads through it over and over and over again. This is a little more white than I have anywhere else, so it's drawing the eye, and I'm just going to take a skewer to that. And if you didn't know it was there, you wouldn't know if you hadn't just watched me do it. Okay, let's take a torch to that and tell you in the last three minutes, do I need anything else? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I have to give myself permission to do what I need to do. And I did just rinse those beads out, but what did I do with them? Oh, okay, never mind. They're in the bucket which will go into sand. Okay, I wonder what doubling the beads would do. I wonder if I could even do that. So the question is, am I happier with that? And the answer is no. I 
think a little drama over there right now isn't going to hurt anything. That's perfect. Good enough. Pretty cool. I like it. It might need some more dark stuff someplace. Still getting back in the hang of using the beads. They're a little different than the chain. I tried to stop. It didn't work. <laughs> it's very abstract. It's kind of cool. I don't hate it. You don't see much of the original picture, that's for sure. So what I want right now is to do what I said I was doing, which is to use the white to try and keep the purple. Keep my hand in with the beads. Keep trying to learn how to do it. I just keep seeing that little piece of pink in there. Wondering if I wanted more or less. But I think I'm done. Okay, it's time to torch. We got a minute left anyway, and that's good. It's terrible when you get bubbles the next day because there's nothing you can really do about them that makes them look like they've never happened. And I use GAC 800 by Golden to keep the paint from cracking when it's thick. 10 to 20% into your color and then add all the protocol you want, which is usually about doubling the volume. And you can add more as long as the color saturation is good in your paints. If you want to see the wet and dry artworks from YouTube, look for volume 1 and 2 under the, the, the very bottom of the description. They're Facebook albums. They, uh, they'll take you to Expressionist Art Studio Fans and Collectors, which is easy to join. You ask, I say yes. Um, there's no posting there except for my artwork. It's, it was really only meant to be a collector's place and not really a group of people, but it is a group of people who collect my work and fans, fans and collectors. Yeah, I'm getting redundant. Uh, the recipe for my pouring medium is in the description. Shop my Amazon link at no extra cost to you. Find some cool stuff there. It really helps me out a little bit. My Pinterest and my Instagram links are at the bottom of the description above or below one or the other. The volumes for Facebook. I think we're almost out of time. My, my timer just went off. The timer goes off at 20 minutes because the camera shuts down. And this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, torching her artwork. Maybe releasing some patterns, probably not. Saying, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for all the contributions. Look for the contest. You can win a painting if you contribute to the studio. I will talk to you guys in the next video. And I'm going to say, this is me, making sure you can see everything. That's kind of cool. It's just pretty. It's, uh, it's patterns. No biggie. Hopefully they're good patterns. <laughs> yeah. Just have to, yep, just have to do it. Let's see what happens. Drag a few chains, add them to the beads. I think I'm going to do that next time. Making sure my head's not in there. You're going to be gone soon. See you soon. Good. <laughs>